And David Cameron's written a piece for The Telegraph today in which he's promising tough action on immigration that will halve the amount of time that foreigners can claim benefits in this country. The coalition, he says, will announce laws to ensure that European Union migrants can claim out-of-work benefits for only three months. Well, Sir Andrew Green is the chairman of Migration Watch. Your reaction to this, Sir Andrew? Well, <clears throat> sorry, uh, it has to be uh, a step in the right direction, but um, it may very well not be sufficient to deal with the issue. Uh, what's happened, as you probably know, is that the uh, net inflow from the European Union has now become almost half of the total of net migration. Um, this article, to put it in context, the article sets out what the government have done for the last four years. Uh, they've done a considerable amount with considerable success. They've got non-EU down by about 30%. But uh, this uh, leaves the problem of, of European migrants, and this is what this is intended to begin to address. But frankly, no one could call it a major measure. There's a problem, though, with mm. the figures, isn't there? Because we mm. had that report last year saying that 600,000 um, migrants were here, out-of-work migrants, but the European Union says that um, the number of people claiming job seekers allowance, which is the measure for it, obviously, was far lower, around 60,000. Uh, a tenth of what had been suggested. Yeah, there's a problem with the figures. Uh, one, re one reason for that is that the nationality of benefit uh, recipients is not recorded in Britain. Uh, I don't know where the EU got their numbers from. Uh, but uh, the reality is that this particular measure on uh, unemployment benefit will uh, affect relatively few people. I don't think anyone challenges that. But uh, it is intended as a deterrent, and clearly you can't calculate the number of people who are deterred. Um, the, 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 the real issue, I think, is that uh, unskilled workers from the European Union, especially from Eastern Europe, can earn four or five times as much as they earn at home, and therefore they're going to come, if the work is available and if there's nothing to stop them, uh, they will come in considerable numbers anyway. Do we mind if they get jobs and do work? Should we mind? Well, it depends on the numbers. Uh, we should mind if there are very large numbers coming, particularly if they go to particular areas where they cause uh, difficulties with housing, schooling, health and so on. Um, it's part of the much wider problem that you've heard me dilate on many times, John, about the sheer scale of immigration, its, its population, its effect on our population uh, and its effect on, on public services and community cohesion and so on. So yes, uh, we need, uh, certainly in our view, we need to get some kind of uh, grip on the sheer scale of immigration, and that nowadays includes uh, migrants from the European Union. And the single action you'd take tomorrow, if you could? Work permits for unskilled workers uh, from the European Union. Sir Andrew Green, many thanks.